Okay, let's talk about these uh, tools are here that are the main tool for 3D and 2D because with that tool you can move and transform the patterns very important and you can exit from other tools. For example, we create uh, some rectangle here for our changing the size of the transfer on them. And here it's in our 3D, as you can see. Let's <clears throat> double click and enter uh, avatar here. It's very easy, it's avatar. Double click and open it now, it's our avatar. As you can see, if you focus in a 2D window, as you can see, we are in this tool. For canceling that, we have to go to the transform pattern A in 2D, if you are at A 2D. As you can see, the uh, mouse is changing and you can click and drag your and uh, changing and transform your pattern. If you holding left click and then right click you can moving distance and move the distance that you want exact number in centimeter it's very nice and as you can see if you select uh, a pattern uh, the transfer tool has a lot of uh, setting for that for example here if you're going here you can rotate your pattern base this uh, pivot point for changing that pivot point, as you can see, you can double click and then click and drag it and drag it anywhere that you want. And after that, you can rotate based on that <clears throat> pivot point. If you deselect and select it again, the pivot point going at the center. For activating and move it, double click on it. As you can see, all of the dots <clears throat> change to orange and you can move your pivot point anywhere that you want. If you select, deselect and select, it's going to the, the original point. It means at the center of the pattern. If you're going most over here, you can change the size of the pattern here. Left click, holding left click, then right click. <clears throat> and here you can transform your um, pattern based on beats percentage or the dimension exactly the percentage or the dimension for example any height or width that you want right if you want to go exactly number and as you can see it's automatically updated in 3d but if you move your <coughs> transfer or move your pattern in a 2d it does not affect in a 3d because it's nice they are independent Okay, you can change it to 2D, it does not affect the 3D. If you're holding shift, you can select multi objects and rotate them. You can change the pivot point holding double click for here and you can move together. Okay, this is transfer tool in 3D. Transfer tool in a 3D, if you go in the one window, as you can see, if you click anywhere, the gizmo appeared there. So for you can <clears throat> changing the pivot point for, for example, rotation and moving. As you can see, this is a gizmo 3D. You can uh, move your pattern in any axis that you want. <clears throat> Go your mouse over this gizmo and the mouse shape will be changed. If you change like this, it means you can rotate it in any direction that you want. It's really easy. Nice. And you can move it in two axes by clicking on these boxes. Y, X, and Z axis. As you can see, we have another thing if you select it. And if, for example, select here, the gizmo come here and you can change the pivot point. Based. If you click here, pivot point go in there. As you can see, we have a <coughs> tool here. If you select it and then go in your avatar, just select it, drag your mouse. And as you can see, it's going based on a pivot point that you selected. And <coughs> you can move it on surface of the body and then second click 
And as you can see, transfer here. This is for uh, actually 3D transfer on surface of any avatar. And as you can see in a 3D tool, we have a select and move. It's the queue in a 3D. For example, if you are in a sum tool like this, for canceling, you have to go to the select or queue. It means if this tool is selected, you can move your pattern in a 3D. If you use this tool, you can move it. For example, select this surface, this pivot, um, <clears throat> this part of your pattern, then select it. Based on the selected point, you can move it on the surface of your avatar. Just select it, then drag your mouse. You, you don't need to hold in your mouse. Then second click. Nice. If you go into the gizmo, here we have a gizmo setting. You can increase or decrease or scale it. In here, in 3D, we don't, uh, we, we cannot scale your pattern in 3D because it depends on a 2D. The scale of the object in, you can scale it in a 2D, not in 3D. Because this is our <clears throat> sketch part. Okay, we can go to the preferences and here in a 3D, we have a little uh, setting for a gizmo. It's a unified gizmo. The unified gizmo means, uh, for example, select it. <clears throat> the unified gizmo means the rotation and the move tool are together. But if you go into the preferences in a 3D, <clears throat> divided gizmo, means if you want to select it, you have to click Q. If you want to move it W, if you want to rotate it, they are separated. But uh, I warn you because it's maybe uh, changing some shortcuts. It's a unified gizmo is nice. And a 2D we don't have, just it's a little sitting here. Or you can right click <coughs> and add your gizmo here. You can add your gizmo in the local coordination as you can see, or word. It's the best word. Nice. Okay, these tools are the first and most important tool for transfer and canceling other comments. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.